We're going to try something a little new today. I came up with this new idea of something about fans love, but haters hate. We're trying something like something totally different, and I'm going to see how this works out. We're going to, we're going to see how it works out. So we're going to start with this first one, and this is about Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. I, I've been watching it since I was a fucking kid. So now, going through the INDB, uh, people on their opinions about the show. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this shit. Reading all these, all these fucking idiots saying the show's bad and all that other shit. Oh, there's a lot of comments like that here. A lot of them. And we're going to start with the uh, 1 out of 10 first. Oh, God, 1 out of 10. Well, how the fuck is it 1 out of 10? Dragon Ball Z is one of the greatest animes of all time. How can it be 1 out of 10? Oh, I hate that. I, I really want to want to read this, even though it's going to give me a fucking heart attack. All right, I see this first one right here. This guy wrote like a fucking paragraph here. Oh, God. All right, so, so this idiot says, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but here it goes. Do I have to, have to read all this shit? I don't really have to, but... Characters, number one is characters. First start with character development. The series has very little character overall as a cast. Also by Goggles and a screaming and transformation. Anime artists, so it's film, animation, movies, or TV shows. The story is very dull, repetitive. No, it's not. The story is not very dull, repetitive. What the fuck is this guy been smoking? Too much crack? The characters have very similar traits. No? Very similar traits. Where the fuck you get that from? Either are blonde Saiyans, super muscular, and nothing else. You know, there's more than just Saiyans. You know, there's there's the Mechians, there's humans. You know, there's our different our fucking races out there besides Saiyans. You know, you fucking idiot. It only focus on how Goku was screaming and left the old cares behind. This is not Dragon Ball Super. This is Dragon Ball Z. The same Dragon Ball Super. Let old characters behind him. Characters like Yancha, Tien, Bulma, even Goku are left behind. And no actual character development. I don't know what this guy is talking about. He must be talking about Dragon Ball Super. A Dragon Ball... An Android Saga. Tien... Fucking, uh... Was Tien, Piccolo, Gohan, Trunks... They, they, they was used a lot in, in, in that saga. They were used a lot to fight against uh, the androids and Cell. So I don't know what the fuck is he talking about. And who would Goku end up with Chi Chi, a chick who we never cared about in the first place? Never care about in the first place? I mean, he's fucking stupid. What do you expect? He's a, Goku's an idiot. Also, on that matter, let's talk about the villains of the show. They're absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic? Take Frieza, for example. He was the strongest in the universe. Well, why did he become evil and why is he evil? There is just no not backstory. Oh my fucking god. Do I have to explain why he's fucking evil? It doesn't matter what his fucking background is. He fucking kills everybody. He's evil. What else do you need to fucking know? He killed like a whole fucking race of Saiyans. That's why he's fucking evil. He killed a whole race of Saiyans. Well, he's like, well, why did he become evil? Oh my fucking god. Uh, this guy... Cell is basically another copy of Frieza. As for Majin Buu, Cell is totally different from Frieza. I mean, you know, yeah, Cell, he has like a whole bunch of different people in him. Goku, Frieza, everyone else's personalities inside him. But I think that's pretty creative to me if I, if I think about it. Majin Buu, I like Majin Buu, but he, he gets a lot of hate, though. I'm not going to lie. People actually hate the Majin Buu saga. I actually like, really like him as a fucking villain. I really enjoyed his, his character and, and the whole story about him. I really, actually really liked it. And he said something about a good villain toys with heroes' emotions and used their wits instead of their fist. I still don't understand what he's talking about. Number two plot, while we're on the matter, let's talk about we have no smart villain is because the plot season after season with the same repetitive storyline of generic bad guys come to Earth and try to good guys fight and win. That's it. Each villain is just literally an atomic bomb who just come to Earth and vows to destroy it with no more as a backstory whatsoever. Oh, for the Lord's sakes. I'm sorry that the, the Dragon Ball Z is not Citizen Kane. I, I am very sorry, sir. I am very fucking sorry. 
Everything got to be like a, a fucking uh, a Oscar w- Emmy Award or something with this fucking guy. These fucking people, are really. Fight scenes. Now, the fight scenes, I admit, has to share good fight scenes. But these get very repetitive once you get to, to the boo saga. So at this point, everything is just rinse and repeat. Just punch, kick, beams, and that's it. No specific martial art, no pressure point, no weaknesses. Oh my god. Since each character weakness is, is dependent on how the author and the fans want him, wants him in a story, and their weaknesses can be simply encountered with more just more training, which is very repetitive. In conclusion, Dragon Ball used to be a series of good fun, but nowadays its retrospective seems dull and repetitive. Since this is a series of most fanboys in the world, it's not helping much. What a fucking geek. What a fucking nerd. This dude wrote like a whole paragraph like he's in high school or something. Writing a fucking, writing a fucking essay. Pfft. Fight scenes were repetitive. My fucking ass. Things do change up in fucking sagas. There's times where things change up. There's different fight scenes going on. There's different uh, blasts and everything like that. Not everything's a fucking insane. There's always, not always just fucking punches and kicks all the goddamn time. They change things around. God damn! Well, what the fuck has this guy been watching? Fucking Christ! Go go watch go go watch My Little Pony or something, you dumb motherfucker. Oh, so we got another one here. Way too overrated. Okay, why is it way too overrated? He says here, and I quote: Even though it's one of the first and mo- most known animes in history, it has absolutely nothing to make you watch it. it has absolutely nothing to make you watch it. Wait, that makes no sense. The way he said that. It has absolutely nothing to make you watch it. Lots of errors in that fucking line. But let's, let's continue. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to that in a second. The animation are probably the best thing this anime has. I agree to that. That's why I'll give it two stars. The story is boring. I just think, fuck out of here. Way too overpowered characters. Every episode has huge unnecessary fillers. Well, I agree with that. It has too many fucking unnecessary fillers in that original Dragon Ball Z. This is a torture to watch. It's not that fucking bad. Torture to watch? The way stick a pencil in your fucking ball sack? What the fuck are you talking about? When I was a kid, I was watching because everybody was talking about how cool it is and everything. It was not even close to what they said. It's like the battleship of animes. Boring and retarded story. Understand characters. Huge explosions that that keep you entertained for for the moment. Now, I'm sure every single Dragon Ball Z fan out there, and there are many, are going to get so mad for this, but this is the truth. <laughs> There's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can say that, that this anime is awesome, and everybody has to say it. Even I tried my best to explain how awesome it is. It will still sound like shit. Final conclusion, most already piece of crap I've ever seen. I guarantee this guy barely have any friends growing up. If you said shit like that. He said that when I was a kid, like... I grew up with people that thought how great it was and everything. He said, "Don't that tells you probably had, barely had any friends too when you were a kid. You say all this shit. How the fuck can you be friends with a guy who don't like Dragon Ball Z? Like how, how's how's that even possible? Boring, boring story, uninteresting characters. What the fuck? He, this guy must have must like gay stuff or something. I don't know what it is. He might he might like that that weird." type of anime with all these anime girls in their uniforms and all that shit. He probably likes that weird shit. He probably, he probably sits there and watches that and jacks off to that shit and watches them, you know, manly shit like Dragon Ball Z, kicking ass and taking names and shit. But no, 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 no. He probably watches some fucking, some gay anime stuff with uh, these high school girls and uh, skirts and fucking blouses and shit going to school. He probably watches stuff like that. That's, he's in that weird Weibo stuff. So that, that, that's fine. Go right ahead. Go watch that. All right. Here's another idiot. The most overrated anime ever. Mindless fights, CD plot, overpower characters, and bad English dubbing. How the fuck is it bad English dubbing? What the fuck's wrong with Sean Shamble and Chris Sabat? They did fucking great voicing Goku and Vegeta, especially the other, other voice actors. What the fuck is he talking about? It should have, been, should have been given the title of the most overrated bad anime. Fighting scenes are so bad, they're just looping for so long. Wow! They can't even destroy a universe. Wow! Why not destroy a whole universe and dump the idea of Dragon Ball? Collect seven balls from around the world and just give a, a dead person life. 
LOL. And these DBZ fanboys, I hate them. Keep talking about a shitty anime like it is the best, the worst anime ever. This is the most bad over anime in the history. Again, look, another one. Another one of those weird people who like to just watch uh, high school girls in skirts and animes and shit. He's probably one of those fucking weird motherfuckers or uh, watches uh, fucking Mean Girls movies instead of uh, actual, you know, shit like Dragon Ball Z. Another one. Absolute garbage. Don't waste time with this show. Horrible, bad characters, bad gravis, utter garbage. Another idiot. Not worth your time. If I could rate this zero, I would. Compared to other anime like Fairy Tale, Naruto, Full Metal Alchemist, no, no, no. Fairy Tale is not better than, than Dragon Ball Z, nor Naruto, no Full Metal Alchemist shit. I mean, I like Full Metal Alchemist, I'm just saying. This is absolute. Uh, this is completely absolute story. Wait, so he fits a sentence right here. Look. This is complete and absolute. So he, he missed a sentence right here. See if these fucking people. The storyline is so simple, just bad guy and good guy with no constant whatsoever. I felt physical pain while seeing this. Just don't physical felt physical pain. Uh, I don't think I ain't doing an anime. Maybe you should go uh, get that checked out, buddy, at the hospital or something. I don't think I'm doing any of you watching an anime unless you have some kind of fucking anxiety attack or something. Have too much fucking. I don't know what it is. These people are fucking weird. They say a lot of stupid shit. Four out of ten, actually. Filler, hollow, nonsense storytelling the characters. I really like it because they're childhood memories, which that makes no sense whatsoever. Characters are so strong that they gave a story to move about sweating. It's supposed to be like that. It's a fucking cartoon. What do you want it to be? Uh, realistic as shit? They're fucking super saiyans, you dumb fuck. Problem comes when they... <laughs> just... These fucking people are fucking retarded. <laughs> These people are so fucking dumb. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to keep going with this. These people are so fucking dumb. It's a fucking cartoon. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm almost still alive. Okay. Anyways. Probably because when there is another villain, which is exponentially more powerful. Come on, nerd. Was it these big ass fucking words? Even a cart, a, a, a cartons, cartons. You mean cartoons? The fuck? Producers can't express. No, wait, wait, no, no. He said Esprez, the power of the care. Esprez, the Esprez. What the hell? You get these like like from aliens from outer space? Esprez. Cartons, the fuck? Golu is over. Golu? You must be talking about a different anime. This is. I don't think he's talking about Dragon Ball Z. I think we should go to uh, another one here. He's talking about a totally different anime. So, uh, yeah. Maybe he's fucking drunk. Alright, this one says the guy says, Anime is awful. Looking for cringe, boring stories? Well, this movie has it. Movie? This is a show, you fucking idiot. We be a movie. This is a show. Unless you talk about the actual movies with, uh, with like, like Broly, Cooler, and all of them. Unless you talk about that. What the fuck are these people even talking about? What the fuck am I reading? I think I'm going to stop reading right now before I get myself a stroke because of how fucking retarded these people are with these uh, comments and shit. It's like, it's really hurting my brain just reading all this. It's just, they don't understand that this is a fucking cartoon and it's not really taking that seriously. They post, they post, they're super saiyans. They post be powerful. They post kick a lot of ass. Like, you, like if you don't know what Superman or, or, or fucking you know, those other superhero characters and comic books and shit. Yeah, who, who I'm kidding about. They probably say a lot of dumb shit about Superman also. How is it possible to shoot lasers out of his eyes? And he came from a different planet from outer space? Well, that's really weird. That's really weird fucking shit. We're stupid as hell, too.